Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last few videos, I just created a login page and a home page you can see here. And in the last video, I just created a new student part. When we click on this new student button, it will open a new J frame. And here when we entered student ID name, father's name, then new student where were registered in our database. So if you don't see that video, just go to the description and check out the link. And in this video, I'm going to create for new book where a librarian or admin will come and register new book. So let me start. Just click on close. Close. Now we have to create a new J frame here. New J frame. We have to write name. So we are writing name is new book. Okay. Click on finish. Will taking a little bit time now we have to increase the size of this uh, so we have to write 700 450 now, now we have to uh, set the location where uh, like uh, we have to open should be in center so for that we have to write where is location here, here you have to write for the x-axis to 325 and 125 for y-axis. Click on OK. And we also hiding the max minimize or close button. So we also here we are taking close. Now, now we have to take the labels book ID. Lit book ID. Okay, we need more levels. Let me just put three or four levels here. Level two, level three for publisher, level four for price, and the, at last we are taking for level publisher here. So let me rename this name. Edit publisher and after that edit here price and at last we are writing a year publish here publish here okay now we need Java text field here. One, two, three, four, five here. Okay. Let me increase the size to two hundred. Okay. Increase size of this one also. Two hundred. Now let me edit the text. Let's remove this. Edit text. Remove this. Remove also. Now, now we need buttons. The first one is for save. Okay. Let me edit. Save. And another one is for close. Okay, let me read text. Close. Now we have to increase the size and change the color of this text field. So sorry, I deselected it all. Just click on properties. And here we are changing the color to this. Click on OK. And we're increasing the size to the bold 14. Click on OK. And 
and close now and we're also increasing the size of this and making it bold 14 so click on properties and we are changing to the bold 14 click on ok close now we need icons in save so we are already imported in our here so i'm actually going to use this if you want to use or import from your computer so you can add from here okay so this one is for save oh sorry this one is for closed we have to save now that's why we have sorry click on icon here and we have to choose uh, there is a save icon click on ok click on ok now we also have to increase the size of this to bold and 14 and we also have to change the color of this ok click on ok close and in similar similarly we also have to choose the color for this we are choosing the color for this is red for cross cross okay increasing the size of this 14 okay and int color click on close now it's look great we have to move the form from this place to a little bit upside now, now we have to make this layout set layout absolute layout so that we can put an image on it uh, right click properties icon and here we have to select one two three four five six we are selecting if you need this icon just go to the description and check out i just put a link there you can directly go and download this image from there remove this now it's looking pretty good uh, this is all about front end so it's time to code so first we are going to code for close event okay uh, here you just need to write set visible false okay now we move to the design we have to write the code for the save action action performed first we need to import our mysql import java.sql.aspect yeah. uh, after that import java sorry i just created a uh, package where we provided connection provider class i uh, i just explained in my last video about project and connection provider class okay so it's time to write the code for save button so here we are taking input from different field string so before saving we need to create a table for this so let me open the table here our database name is lms library management system and here we have to create a table okay wait table table book the first one is book id id where can 10 we are taking after that book id we have to name bad care name 100 and publisher bad care 100 after that we price bad care 10 digit and at the end we need publish publisher here where can 10 we 
okay we can also take it five so wait table let's see the description of book okay now here you can see that book id name publisher price and published year so let's write the code for this now we have to write first string string book id id j text field one dot it text yeah now we have to copy this quote and i'm going to change the name of this text field two three four five here and the first one is book id and the second one is name and the third one is our publish sir and next is price and at last publisher year okay and after that we have to write the write the codes for SQLs to insert data in our database so there we are using try catch so connection pawn connection provider here we are getting the connection which having the static method get con so statement after that we are creating a statement here st dot pawn dot create statement here st dot execute update it's changing in our database so here we are writing update after that we have to write the query for insert 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 into book values here we are writing first book id after after that we have to write name of that book so name we are taking and after that we have to write publisher publisher okay after publisher we have to write price and at last Price publish year publisher year okay now we have to show a pop-up message dot show message well up sorry here we have to write Okay. Null. We have to write here. Here we are writing successfully updated. Okay. And we are setting the refreshing that page. In simple way, we can say that false. We are writing here false and setting new visuals, new visuals, new book, same page. Okay. Dot set set visuals true. So if something went wrong, for that we are going to write the code. G option pan dot show message value here so null here yeah. book id 
ID already exist in our database. Something went wrong, it will show that the book ID is already in our database. So let me run this code, run file. Let me write the number one. It's name of the book uh, we are writing math okay and the publisher rk gupta price here we are writing 500 published year 2018 okay so when we click on save it will show that successfully updated okay so when you click on okay it will refresh our page so let me see that that one is inserted in our database or not so select book here yeah. now you can see that book id is one name math name of that book is math publisher rk gupta price and published year okay so let me connect this page to the home page so here we are going to design and when right click on this event action action performed here we are going to write new New book book dot set visible true okay now let me run from start home page so when we click on new strand it will open a new form close it when we click on new book it will also open a new form let me try that I already registered with the ID one so here we are writing Book name is also math book publisher quarter and 200 and 2111 okay then you click on save oh actually I did not make my table as a primary that's why it's showing that's why it's taking the book ID okay so we need to create it as a primary okay book id as a primary so for that we have to write the codes write to query sorry before writing query first we need to delete this uh, delete from book where price goes to 200 okay we are deleting this now we are selecting book okay now we are going to modify our column alter table book id oh sorry alter table book modify book id uh, here we are writing bad care 10 primary key now here we are going to see the description now you can see that the book uh, book id is going to be primary now we are going to again insert this let me close first oh sorry we need to close first let me run project it again now when we click on new book let me write math book math bottom price 200 published to 2011 okay now when we click on save you can here see that book ids already exist so it will give error to the you admin or librarian okay so in the next video i uh, i'm going to create a new jframe for issue book so this is all about library management system if you don't see my previous video just go to the description and check out so i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you